Hey there viewers, Deli here, and welcome to New Release Friday. The weekly series in which I go to the new releases section of Steam, pick a random game, play it for a little while, and tell you if it sucks or not. This game is called CrossCode. It's been in early access for a while, I think, which I didn't know until after I bought it, but it looked fucking awesome. So I wanted to try it out, and I figured I'd do that along with you guys. So let's hop right in with the new game. Ooh, Binto Chan. This song with the little bells in the background reminds me a lot of Chrono Trigger. And so does this game style in general. It's already looking good. I like the anime Naruto run that my person does. Hands out behind him. Hold D, press right click. Press click, 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 click to attack. Just like that. I prefer to use dodge to go towards the enemy, not away from him. Like that. It's a jam alert right here. Press and hold space to charge. Let go. Okay. <laughs> Gift that keeps on giving. That guy's like, fuck. Oops. Okay, well. Did that hurt me? I saw numbers pop up. <laughs> Not. Do you remember balls? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, so you have relatively heavy inaccuracy unless you charge it. So is that Lee? I guess it has to be Lee. Oh, when you pause it shows dialogue. That's nice. Good for refreshers. It looks like maybe this game would be better played with a controller than a mouse and keyboard. So we're gonna try that. And you don't have to restart the game, I don't think. That is handy. Oh man, it's like an auto jump system, but you can get all sorts of cool places. Yeah, there's no jump button, but it just sort of knows that you want to jump, I guess. That could get weird later. We'll see. Sure am a natural with balls, guys. No, I don't need a hint. 
I'm just murdering things. What more could you need? What more would you need? Yeah, I'm ready to take care of your vagina, guys. So it seems to be combo based. You go D -d 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 -d, and then a heavy attack. I see. So you're just always going to be attacking with your sword until you push on the analog stick. And then you can fire. Whoa, it's full auto. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's kind of sick. Alright, let's try let's try control it for a minute here. How do I dash though? It's the dash button. A, B, Y. I can also use X as attack. Okay, dash is left bumper. And then if I want to attack, I can just do this. This fucking soundtrack is so good. Holy crap. Welcome to Cross World. You remember the concept of an MMO. in the game you die in real life guy God, I learned the word hi, guy. Oh my God, this is how I'm gonna start conversations. Hi. They're like, oh, hey, how you doing? I'm like, hi. Hi. Listen, man, it's the current year. Blue hairs are very common. Hey, guys. Lots of beefcake. <laughs> Babaka. Yeah, no girls exist on the internet. You always remember that. That's the number one rule. That guy with the green screen and who keeps talking about me, who's like updating my firmware and shit. I don't remember his name, but he reminds me of Otacon. So the story here is that I'm a real person tied to an avatar inside of an MMO world. But the MMO world is actually a real world, I guess. It's not a virtual world, but I'm a virtual version of a real person in said world. Capitan. Hey. 
<laughs> In the world. First boss fight. Uh, doesn't look affected by this. Whoa. Okay, that's kind of fucked up. Right around on my head. That's sick. Wait, what the fuck? Can I climb on him? I can't dodge quick enough to avoid that shit. Time to go. Let's finish him off. That was pretty close. Level up. Cool. So there's a leveling system. Bruh. <laughs> Captain comes out of nowhere with a rocket launcher. Go. This is... Oh. Oops. Au revoir. Okay, so she's a Frenchie. This um, this is basically like novice grounds in Ragnarok Online, which was my MMO growing up. And we go. I think that green-haired nerd is suspicious of us. All right, so we're trying to do this quick because what's her name is going to be trying to show us who's boss. I don't understand what I'm doing here. Puzzle solving bits are kind of neat. Shit. Equipment. Lucky blade. Blade. It's the novice gear from Ragnarok. <laughs> it's perfect.
you bitch. Oh, sure, I'm glad I popped those. And he's dead. Oh, shit. Increase the damage you deal with your attacks. That's fucking sick. There's a whole skill tree? Oh, bro, I get another word. I got my own name. Great. I'm a Neanderthal. I'm a Leanderthal. Oh. Ah. You made it out. Oh, she beat me. Emily. Eliminator? Eliminate. Oh my god, I want to die. At least you can add inflection. Hi? Then she kind of sounds like a bitch, though. Oh my god. How about no? Switch to the world map view. This place looks pretty fucking gigantic, which is cool. <laughs> do you like rails? If you do, hit me up at the pub. Oh man, so there's just a bunch of side quests. Okay, so he's giving me an assignment to visit all of the faction headquarters, which, yet again, is very MMO-like. How do I get up there? This is like, this is like another MMO cliche where there's always someone sitting in a spot that you wish you could get to, but you just can't fucking figure it out, and he's sitting in there all smug. That's that guy right there city is so fleshed out and this is just the beginner city I wonder what the capital city's like this makes me want to play an MMO really bad like seeing this group of people sitting around down here and like all these people in and out this is really fucking cool holy shit for some veggie sticks fuck yeah I'll accept the challenge chili dog okay we can do this I believe. Oh, that was easy. Talk to that rad dude. Alright, I'm going back to the rad dude to get my reward. <laughs> that smug fucking face. Oh shit. Look at that shit. Oh yeah. Fucked him up. Next in line. Oh my god, that was so many quests. Uh, this is going to turn into a Skyrim quest log, basically. D 
dude. Emily is sick. She's lighting it up. Oh, there's nothing. Okay, this guy's tanky. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Ouch. Yeah, beat down is right. Uh, you gotta fight him from behind. He doesn't like to be smacked in the face. <laughs> we sure did. That's perfect. I just stun him and then Emily fucks him up. Very cool. What is up, my dude? Ooh, that's a question I want an answer to as well. Some of you may know, I love fishing in games. Because I bought a fishing game just for New Release Friday, and I've played the fuck out of it ever since. I loved it. Feel free to click the card right up over there if you want to see that review. <laughs> Please watch my videos. Oops. Oh my god. The jumping gets a little wonky sometimes. Trying to control where you want to go. Luckily the damage isn't that bad and you recoup health, so it's not like a huge deal. That hurts really bad if you take a direct hit from him. Ah, he's fucking out. Smacked his noggin. Jump and climb, jump and climb, jump and climb! Hit him! Ah, oh, yeah, we're still in combat. I'm a little low on health, but I'll be fine. Maybe? Oh shit, 20 health. Let's eat another sandwich. Get some health back. Hey, hit level 5. I can use my other weapon. Closing thoughts on CrossCode. What an awesome experience. I've only played like 3-ish hours, and I'm already loving this, and I know I'm going to play so much of this game. Definitely worth the price tag. I paid like 17-ish bucks, and I'm going to play multiples of that in hours. Oh man, I'm going to play so much of this. And that's the last thing I need right now is another game to binge on. The world and the idea is such a cool concept. The whole, oh, you're playing a game that's actually supposed to be you inside an MMO. And it's supposed to be a real world, but also an MMO. It's weird, futuristic, obviously, but it feels like an actual MMO. I feel like these are real people running around me. These are real people going and running fetch quests. The dialogue is hilarious and quirky and cute. I wish there was some voicing, but, you know, there's a lot of text, so it'd be kind of hard to do it that way. The combat is pretty cool. The, I mean, it seems like you're going to have a lot of options as far as, like, building into def defense, building into extra health, building into focus or attack. There's just a lot of options. It seems like there's a lot of weapons. There's a lot of enemy variation. Ugh. The soundtrack? Like, the soundtrack's so good. I'm very, very impressed, needless to say. The only thing that was kind of weird was the whole jumping system, but even still, they have a sort of magnetic jumping system where you'll stick to the things you're supposed to be jumping towards. It's pretty friendly. Overall, knocked it out of the park. So, bottom line, get it. Just get it. If, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, eh, this might be cool, just buy it. Like, don't even go any further than that. If you aren't looking at this and thinking, no, I don't want that, or it doesn't interest me, like, there's no reason to not get it, unless you're thinking that. That's the only way not to. I try to do a new release Friday every single week around here, so if that sounds cool, feel free to kick your feet up and stick around for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.